What life lesson has taken you the longest to learn? <laughs> oh gosh. Um, okay. Um, and I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's more than one. Um, one that. Okay. One that really stands out to me um, is that just because you're good at something does not mean it's good for you. And I. Um, I sort of look back at my life. I mentioned earlier I was a headhunter for 11 years and, and I was good at it. And I, that's not me showing off. You know, I was good at it, you know, based on my, you know, my revenue, based on my reputation. Um, and for a long time, I loved it. But um, in the end, um, yeah, in the end, I realized that just because you're, you know, you're sort of doing something you're great at, doesn't always mean it's great for you and and I think there's a little bit in there as I mentioned earlier about kind of making sure that you're not overdoing your strengths and I think probably I did overdo some of my strengths and I probably just overdid some of my just I think probably I overdid my drive and my competitive um you, you know elements and I think I just like worked so hard for so long that I reached a point and I just went enough <laughs> enough now and um yeah i'm gonna let other people take on the headhunting of hr leaders in the uk now <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's such that's such a powerful lesson for all of us you know what's good for us you know it's not necessary what's um what's oh uh, sorry what's what we're good at is not necessarily yeah, what's good exactly for us. that exactly yeah. that and, it, and i and, and sort of i guess i i learned that um yeah i learned that just it sort of hit me about five years ago when I set up my business because I just kind of realized I had to stop and I kind of reached a point where I was like actually I, I recognize in my body and my soul I was like enough I need to do something different now um but now seeing it through the lens of strengths you know it's become so clear to me that it, I I just um I sort of just you know I thought oh well I'm just tired you know and I think there was a bit of burnout in there you know and now I look back um but I think some of it was just I just I was doing too much of the things that I was good at to the extent that it just, you know, it's just like I, I've kind of, I've, I've overdone them and they've gone down into my toolkit, but they're not the things that are energizing me anymore. 